What is poppin' you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Melissa. I have another vlog for you and in this vlog I uh, did a bad thing and I dyed my hair so I take you through that process. I of course got some coffee and more coffee and another coffee because why not? I had a lot of real talks with you guys or a couple real talks and a value of the village. The thrift stores are open so I had to do the damn thing and take you guys along to the thrift. I got a couple packages in the mail that I wanted to share with you guys and then of course we did some Depop organizing because I got so many new things that I wanted to share with you guys from the thrift but without further ado let's get into it uh oh I'm about to do a bad thing I'm going to just dye my front a little bit I'm gonna bleach it a little bit blonder and then I'm gonna dye my extensions guys my hair is still not recovered from my last year I had a really bad situation where I tried to bleach my hair at home and I like lost half my head so you think I would learn but I'm still going to try it but this time I'm literally only going to do my own hair because the one I did it I didn't know you weren't supposed to overlap the bleach and like on the root I didn't know because I only ever was a brunette before so you know my life would be so much easier if I just like watched a YouTube video which you think that I would have since um this is my job I just want to have like a fun like ombre effect going on i don't know i'm bored we're still in quarantine here i was actually supposed to get my hair done like two months ago at this point i don't even know if I, I had a hair appointment and then we literally went into quarantine so i should be one of the first ones to actually get an appointment when we do open up which is exciting that's why i'm not going to try to do anything too much to myself just my extensions more so i also have some toner so i have some bleach and some toner hopefully this works out we will see if not, at least it's just my extensions and my bangs. I didn't have any foil, like tin foil wrap, which is really weird. I thought that I would have. We're just gonna use newspaper. It works just as well, I think. All right, I'm gonna start with the extensions because I'm gonna avoid doing this as, as, for as long as I can, so. Okay, so I am going to be smart and I'm going to add some Olaplex into this especially for when I do my hair. Hopefully that helps because I didn't do that last time and that was the biggest issue. Oh God. minutes so I'm gonna start to put some onto the root okay I kind of chickened out and I washed the, <laughs> the bleach out probably too early but kind of a vibe, huh? I feel like this hair color really suits my complexion. Maybe I should do my whole head this color, like not myself, like when I go to the salon. Like it's kind of a vibe if I did some orange with some like blonde highlights. This kind of suits me. What do you guys think? Am I like just tripping? But like it kind of looks good. Oh, I don't know what to do now because I kind of like the color of it, but I might just end up re-bleaching it in a little bit oh. Round two <laughs> Please don't turn out bad. Please don't turn out bad. Literally two days later. We are finally here I love the color. I actually love the color. It is a little bit brassy orange and I did order a toner just in case but I'm kind of living for like the orange like the strawberry blonde. Um, I did order a toner though because I do want to have it like more one color. It is a little bit of a bunch of like random colors but I'm kind of also here for it so I'm not too sure. I'm not sure how it's gonna show up on camera um, with this lighting but I'll put up some of the photos that I took. I'm kind of here for it though. I actually really like it. So I'm about to do some Depop. It is pretty late now. I've literally been doing hair for like two days.
Okay, here is my lunch for the day. Griffey's trying to trying to get at that. But yeah, this is after a workout. This is typically what I eat. This is like a turkey sandwich on like a I don't even know what these are called. Salad, blueberries and almonds, good for my bladder problems. I'm gonna pickle because I love pickles. And the dogs. I've legitimately been editing this Sex in the City video for four days. It took so long. So if you have not checked out my Sex in the City video, definitely go do that. <laughs> take an insta it's not hot girl summer it's hot girl summer you get it you get it but you want to stare off okay i am um, i just got a pink drink i took some instagram photos i'll pop them up they i think they look cute i actually went to two different locations so i'm not even sure which ones I will end up doing, but I basically just took Depop photos all day. This is kind of what I do every day is I'll take Depop photos, go take an Instagram pic, film a video. I can't go anywhere right now, so that is literally all I've been doing. But I have to go home and do some listings, some Depop listings. But before I forget, I want to address my last vlog, I think. I showed you guys a method of doing Depop photos where I was doing the collages. And I just want to say that I was not the one that like created that method. The creator of that is right here. I'll pop up a, a picture of the creator and all that that created this method. I want to thank you guys obviously for holding me accountable because there was a few videos that you guys are like can you please like mention who created the initial collage depop situation so i just want to make sure i mention that i meant that i was going to mention it in my next vlog because i wanted to do it during a video that i was actually like doing depop and like taking depop photos and stuff like that so yes i just want to clear that up and make sure you guys know that i didn't create it and i'm actually starting to do my photos differently i've started to do them outside again um maybe i'll go back to that method in the winter time but yeah i just want to make it clear that I was not the creator of that and we need to give credit to whoever created it. Isn't this hat the cutest thing ever? Like everything that I have on is up on my Depop or will be listed on my Depop. I've been rambling for too long. Boring. Let's move. Let's move ladies and gentlemen. Let's move. The pile of doom. I have to list all this stuff on Depop today. Good morning everybody. So I'm about to go get caffeinated I'm about to go get some food because I have not eaten yet it's Monday Mondays are the days that I get my life together so we're going to the grocery store after you know we get our little coffee and a little snack food breakfast today we're gonna clean a lot I have to clean downstairs I have to clean upstairs in my closet I have to clean and get groceries I feel like there's a few other things that I have to do. Oh, I have to do Depop. I have to list on Depop. So we're gonna do that today. So yeah, busy day, busy day, and I'm gonna bring you guys along. I knew I was forgetting something. This. Hotter than heck out here. Got my cold brew, got my groceries. Now I gotta go drop off the shipping. update you guys if you guys didn't see my last vlog I believe I talked talk to you guys about me struggling with UTIs urinary tract infections I just want to say thank you to everybody who commented about their own experiences and also DM'd me about 
certain experiences and that they feel the same they have the same situation I just want to say it makes you feel a lot better knowing that you're not alone you guys gave me a bunch of new suggestions so I thought I would share all of the new things that I've been trying since explaining my little issue that I have okay so first of all a lot of you guys had told me hey girl or messaged me or commented saying hey do you think that maybe it's not a urinary tract infection and that maybe you just have bladder issues where it's called IC. I don't even know how to say it. It's like inter intercystis or something. Um, it's called IC basically, but it's basically when you eat and drink certain foods that just flare up your bladder, which can make you feel like you have a UTI, but it's actually not a UTI. So after I seen all these comments, I realized that this probably is the issue. So basically right before my period, I will get a, like an, a little, about a week of like a flare up is what it's called, of your bladder just being inflamed from like a lot of the things that you eat, especially coffee. So basically what is happening is like a lot of the acids from the food or the drinks that I'm drinking is just uh, making my bladder inflamed and irritating my bladder. So I did a bunch of research on this IC situation and it literally is probably what I have. I've always had bladder issues since growing up. Like when I was younger, I didn't have a good bladder. I wet the bed until like 10. Like it was always an issue with me. So I'm not even surprised that I'm still dealing with bladder issues when I'm almost 25 years old. And it's actually very common to for girls in their 20s to start to have IC because it's all basically about to do with your hormones. And when I get it, it's basically right before my period where your hormones are fluctuating. So I believe your estrogen is like rising and your progesterone is dropping, whatever it's called. And basically it triggers your bladder to, um, it, I guess it weakens your bladder or your bladder is more uh, likely to allow bacteria into it. Um, so that's basically what all last week I was dealing with just everything I was eating or drinking irritating my bladder. However, a lot of you guys mentioned to me to try this Sisto Plus and basically it's just a packet that you pour into some water and you drink. It's not a pill. It's like I kept going back to the doctors for antibiotics and every time the doctor was like, are you sure? Like you're literally the exact same time every time you're coming here right before your period being like or right after my period is when like the uti symptoms really are triggered because my bladder is opening up um allowing bacteria during my period because of the hormonal shift so basically my cystus is like triggering all of this basically so i started to drink this you're supposed to take like as soon as you start to feel a flare-up you're supposed to drink like three packets over a day and then three packets the next day what helped me was like I, I drank this for two days three days straight so it was like three three and three and it was pretty much gone as long as I didn't drink any triggery foods or drinks so there was like those two days I didn't have coffee because I really was like Ugh. everything I was drinking eating was triggering it so I will put up um, there's actually a full diet that I was kind of, kind of like or like guidelines that I've been going and following um, of things that you can can eat or sh like you can eat them but it can trigger you to have a flare-up so try to avoid such as alcohol coffee um sugary drinks anything spicy spicy foods obviously there's like actually dairy is actually something that's okay for you and i will pop it up on the screen here of like what i've been kind of going by but that was like something that i realized and i feel great since doing this and semi following the diet I still drink my coffee. The reason why I can still drink my coffee is because because one of you guys hooks me up with Preleaf. Now Preleaf is a game changer. So basically, because I like to have my morning coffee or my afternoon coffee or if I want to go out with the girls and drink some alcohol, you take two of these Preleaf and it takes the acid right out of your food or drinks. So basically, if I take pop two of these, drink what I want to drink, eat what I want to eat, I will feel fine, which life-changing situation here because I've been dealing with, with this for a year and I still have no answers of like what the heck is going on I just always think it's a UTI the doctor's like I don't think it's a UTI 
um, I got a pap test, I'm fine, like everything is fine. I also had like a pelvic exam, which she said everything was fine. So pretty much this is what is going on. Then next I started to try Eucora. So Eucora is a method that is not antibiotics that can help prevent UTIs. So basically these are little packets, same situation, you pour it into like a drink every time you feel like you can take it every day if you want to, which I've been taking it every day just because I'm terrified of UTIs. <laughs> I take one every day and um, it's immune boosting, it's really good for you and it tastes like pink lemonade so I'm like, you know what, because sugary drinks and drinks irritate me, I'm going to drink one of these instead to have a little drinky poo. It kind of tastes like a... Starbucks pink drink. Also comes with two different pills that you can take. So this is a cleanse of a biofilm and to strengthen your uh, bladder wall and you take two a day. And this one is to promote balance in your vaginal microbiome and you take one a day. Basically I've been trying this and this has also been helping a lot. Like I have felt my best ever lately. So that's good. And of course you guys know I take my probiotic every day and then the last thing that a lot of you guys were suggesting were suppositories which I was kind of doing something similar but these are just um, pre-made ones so it just makes it easy you just you know pop one up your little coochie and it makes it freshens things up makes you feel better and can help with the bacteria so that is basically what I've been on and I want to say thank you guys because this has helped me so I hope maybe somebody who's going through the same thing see this video maybe and it can help them so that is what i wanted to share quickly and then i'm gonna put all these vitamins into here maybe and then just like store it in the corner or something i don't know i want to change it up okay i ended up putting them in this like basket over here but i have a bunch of groceries i gotta put away now live off of these rice crisps or crispy minis just because i feel like they're like a like healthier chip I got two packs of these like sandwich, of these sandwich buns, which are really, really good and better for you. Watermelon and berries, which I think I'm about to go eat this watermelon outside, so I'm gonna leave that out. Berries I put into the corresponding berry bowl, basket, box, bin thing that I put in my fridge. It just keeps them fresher and better, I find. Apples more vitamins pickles because if you are especially on your period when you feel like you're craving something pickles will help with craving um something sweet or salty or like chips or something and it will like help with those cravings so if you are on like a health kick journey or a weight loss loss journey um these pickles can come in handy with that because they tend to curb your cravings not for full meals though make sure you're eating that's important Peppermint tea because peppermint is good for the bladder. Blueberry juice is one of those things that are apparently okay to drink on the icy diet. So I picked up these two. I feel like this is going to be gross. It's just pure blueberry juice. I'm going to try it. And I got this one which has sugars in it. So I'm a little bit concerned about it because sugar can trigger bladder issues. So I don't know, we're gonna try both and see, but they didn't say anything about not having sugar in a drink. Sugar triggers UTIs, it doesn't trigger IC, I believe. They have a large creamer bag in this because they didn't have it for so long, and then some almond milk. And that's my grocery haul, oh, and a salad, which I'm about to eat. All right, we're gonna try this blueberry juice. It's not bad, you know why I was thinking it was gonna be bad? Because pure cranberry juice is awful. With some ice? I think this is a winner. Blackberry, blueberry, Tropicana juice, so it probably tastes unhealthy and good. But this one has like zero anything, so I'm pretty excited about this one. It's just pure blueberry juice. So the doorbell rings, and I'm like, okay, I got some packages. But it's not packages for me, it's packages for these little guys. But I got two packages for them from Woof Pack. So I, they reached out to me and they wanted to send me some stuff for Griffey and Louie and I was like, of course. It was so cute though, they were like waiting at the door and the mailman was like, I got delivered. Cause we're like pretty, I know the mailman pretty well now because he's at 
my house so much with the packages. So he's like, he's like, it's so funny that it literally says their name on it, the package because he like loves the the dogs now. So I have some packages and yeah, I'm about to go for a run. And I was like, you know what? Let's just film this before I'm all hot and sweaty. So exciting, Louis! What do we have? <laughs> What is there? Okay, I'm doing it. What is this? Look, okay. <laughs> he knows. The cutest little no. Pups of the jungle. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Griffey is so excited also. And we're gonna open it up. <gasps> Look at it! So we, this is what it comes, it looks like. Oh my god, there's so many fun things about to happen, you guys. <gasps> what is that? Oh, we love squeakies. <laughs> we love squeakies. And then it comes with some Canadian beef treats. Oh, beef jerkies. Okay, okay, sure. What's this? A pig ear. This one is liver treats. Oh, those are good for you guys especially, and then some beef treats. Nice. Another one, <gasps> this is Bark and Roll. Oh my goodness. We got a cassette, Squeaky. Oh, that's so exciting. Louie wants the treats. Oh, we got another Squeaky. <laughs> this is so exciting. And then we got some turkey meat and liver treats. This is good because everything's been closed, so we haven't been able to get any treats here. Like we could order online, obviously, but we just ran out. A beef stick. We just gonna like that one. Beef stick. And then some bark drums. Apple. Apple biscuits. Those are good. We've never had apple everything's biscuits. Nice and soft this is too. this boosts the immune system. So these are like healthy for them. And we have another pack to go through. Oh. Three packs, you guys. They're so, they're just going after all the cookies, they're vegan. and they're vegan. All right, the third one. Oh, we got another pups of the jungle one. Pups of the jungle. Are you pup of the jungle? All right, here we go. Oh, another big box. You guys are so spoiled. Oh, we're gonna have so much fun. So we got a crinkle monkey. Oh my gosh, he loves these legs. Anything that you can pull on, he is here. <laughs> he wants. And then we got some great jacks. This one's like the same as the other one, so they because there was two of them. Oh, okay. So they each got their own. I think we do we have two of these then? We do. And two yeah, of the meat treats. Yeah. Yeah. And then another pig ear. A smaller one for Griffey. Or Louis. <laughs> Louis about to take them. And then another squeaky turtle! Oh my goodness, you guys are gonna have so much fun with this stuff. So thank you Wolfpack for sending me all this great things. They're sending Louie and Griffey all these great things. That's amazing. So I'm just gonna put this up here. I'll take a picture of everything as well and like put it in for you guys if I can gather everything because they might be playing with the toys. But all right. What's that? Okay, so we're caught. We can't. I'm already going in strong. I'm sorry there was really no intro to the fact that I'm thrifting right now, but the reason is because there's huge lineups and I'm just like running out of my car to get to it. There's only like literally 30 people allowed in each store, which is, it's really dead in here. Like it feels dead because 30 is not a lot for how big the space is. So I'm already going in here and we found a bunch of things, some cute pieces so into this velour right now so I picked up I've actually thrifted a few of these in the last few days but this purple like velour toweling I think it's more material terry cloth that's what it's called material I found these really dope like belted pants that are like camo look at this dress it's by like Jessie's girl. It's so cute with this big belt, polka dot little moment, flowy, love it. I also found these, which are really cute. And like a lot of bags as well. This one's actually coach. I might keep this because I really like it. Like so many cute little things. Oh, I also found 
Where is it? There was like a Betty Boop. Oh, like look. Look at this. Okay, so from this like little coach moment. And then also look at this. It's so cute. Oh, here it is. Look at this little Betty Boop wallet thing. How fun. So yeah, I'm just at the thrift. I found like a high school musical little t-shirt too, which would be cropped on somebody. Super cute, so many cute things. I'm gonna keep going. Look, uh, I literally just sold one so similar in lime green and now we got pink. And it's like neon pink, yay. On the hunt for some coconut girl summer cuteness. This is definitely a piece that we're here for right now. Very 90s. This is so cute, I love this. I just found these shorts as well. I found these cargo shorts, which actually might fit me. They might be a little bit big, but like so cute. And then I just found these bad boys as well. And I also found this really cool, I don't know, SpongeBob button down in the little boy section. And I feel like it's kind of a vibe. Maybe I'm like losing my mind a bit, but I think it could be cute in some way or another. been a few days since I have updated you with anything I ended up going to my boyfriend's house for like four four days four or five days so this is kind of just a bunch of random clips I did thrift a lot and I wasn't I actually took photos like Depop photos for the last like three days I got new extensions which are blonder and I also dyed and not dyed but I toned this a lot I'm a little bit more of a blondie so yeah we have a cute look happening with these amazing pants I'll like post up a photo because I'm probably gonna take an Instagram photo today but yeah we're gonna go thrifting because why the heck not I thought you know what let's get some vlog content let's go thrift I'm gonna eat and then we're gonna go thrifting okay I most definitely am finding some good things not in the shoe section or the bag section really to be honest which is fine because i do have quite a few bags and shoes sorry i know you guys hate the hangers that's super my bad i did find a ton in the little girl section the english on this uh i'm not sure but like i kind of love it at the same time i found so many good things like look at this snoopy shirt super cute like look at this with all the the fruits on it a lot of tank tops an old navy like t-shirt these are all pretty like big too like teens more so than little girls which i love sometimes the teen stuff is mixed into the women's stuff this store it depends on the store but the store is mixed into the little girls stuff so it really just depends but like look how cute this like holland Sure it is. I just got a lot of things. I'm not sure about this, but this is kind of like 2000 and what, seven-ish? And I feel like it's a vibe. Like, I feel like this is coming back and I can just feel it. And I thought this was kind of cool. So why not? I did find like a bunch of skirts too that are probably like more teenish. Like, look, so we have that one. This one is so cute. Do you see this one with this belt here? really flowy and cute and then this is like a kind of like velour pink little mini skirt which is cute actually because a skirt and then I got a denim one as well the same type of situation I might keep this if it fits me to be honest same with this one and it's by siblings if you remember siblings I remember siblings sibling siblings was my store it's where I got my first Libra t-shirt actually I did find a couple bags which are kind of cute like this one and then this little side bag as well which is kind of groovy and then I did find these but they're kind of like destroyed so I don't know I mean they're so wearable for sure and they're kind of they're dope like I would I kind of want to keep them but I'm not sure if they're too messy and then I also found this Hannah Montana dress which is so funny I think it's fun, so I'm gonna get that. I am obsessed, and my favorite number is eight. My birthday is on the 8th of October. Wow, it's like a jersey dress. Like, how Y2K is this? Oh my god. But it's a medium. I feel like it might be big, but I hope not. It's so cute. These are cute. This is so freaking beautiful. What the heck? Look at this cute little mushroom. I'm getting distracted, I think. 
The knickknacks are always my favorite <laughs> place to look. But I feel like buying these things is how you become a hoarder because they're all like really cute. But, like once in a while, it's fine. But like you could get pretty carried away in this section. Look at this little thing. It's like a teapot or yeah, a teapot. I think it's broken though. A lot of them are broken, which is really sad. Like this is a little bit broken. Look at this Care Bear piggy bank. Okie doke. I actually found the cutest little necklaces right now. So cute. Found this which would be cute because it's like the World Cup right now. So I thought that might be cute. I found this like velour like toweling shirt which would be cute. This little like Burberry vibe vest which is cute. And like some shorts. I found this bathing suit which is cute. I love the cut of it. Some mesh stuff. It's like this red off the shoulder top which by Cleo, which I think is so cute. So I might keep that for myself. I found this blue top as well, like super wide 2 k And then I found this blouse, which is cute. I might not get it though, I don't know. I found this top, which I adore. It's like this really high neck and it has like this tattoo butterfly on it. I think it's so bomb, like very grunge. A lot of pants actually as well. I found the cutest bag ever too. Look, I don't know, but it's new with tags and it's so cute. And then this top, which I showed you guys, um, this is so freaking cute. I found this as well, which I love this color, kind of like my pants. So yeah, I also got this and then this really cute. It's like one of those like tops that is like sit us or it might be a dress. I actually thrifted this exact same thing before if this is a dress. It's an extra large. We'll see. It's like one of those like uh, like halter neck, like floppy dresses with the, sh the scoop neck. When I can't even think of what it's called right now. But it's, it could be cute if I think I know what it is. <laughs> Tell you I'm living right now. I am living. Makeup Revolution just sent me this bomb ass package. Bratz by Maker. It's like a collab with Bratz. And I literally had... This exact collection of Bratz, guys, when I was little, like, Bratz dolls were everything to me. Like, I'm living my 10-year-old best self right now. But, like, look at, I cannot wait to play around with this. This is so exciting. But you think it's a toy. He thinks it's his bark box. Got the main palette, too, which is this one right here. So I'm so excited. So I got this one, and I got this one. And these are the other ones that it comes with. And then I got a couple, like, lip liners. Did they give me a mascara? What else is in here? Because I low-key need a mascara. Plump lip gloss. Eyeliner. That's fun. I think this is a lip liner. Lip crayon. A makeup bag. Oh, I'm literally, literally, literally obsessed. I'm so excited. Like, this is everything. I am obsessed. Look at that color. Look at Chloe. Chloe? Oh, my gosh. So, oh. Oh, oh, fash, oh. I'm so excited. Look, oh, Tweevils. Hello, everybody. So I think the last thing I showed you was my Bratz um, makeup collection thing that I just got sent, and I'm obsessed with it. But it is later in the day, and I need to clean. Everything's a mess. I'm leaving this weekend. I'm actually going to go to Ottawa and film like a thriftcation vlog, vacation, thriftcation, a little getaway. I'm gonna leave on Saturday and come back probably Tuesday. And then I'm going from Ottawa back here home and then I'm going to Toronto for like three days um, for Fran's birthday. So I have a lot of shit that I gotta do and I really need to clean downstairs before I do all this stuff because I will be so anxious if I leave and everything's a disaster downstairs. It's not fun, it's not fun to come home to that. So we're gonna go clean up, give it a good clean. I just have a lot of things that I gotta do before I leave and have. I'm gonna have a great time while I'm there and I don't wanna worry about any work stuff. So I basically, I'm just trying to do a bunch of Depop stuff before I leave um, and really like rev up my engine and get like 200 things ready to go. I think I have like 100 right now, so I have to do another like, probably 30 things today and 30 things tomorrow. If I can get to like 150, between 150 and 200, I'll be really happy. So I have about 60 things listed so far, like ready to drop. So if you wanna check out my Depop, you can do that. I'm talking too much. Let's get to the cleaning. I'm also gonna show you guys some of my recent finds, um, thrift finds. 
My pups are here. Hello, puppies! Besties! Ooh. So this is everything that I've picked up in the last week, two weeks or so since the thrift stores opened. Probably more than that to be honest because I've listed a bunch of things. But they all need to be hung up and organized into on these racks and stuff like that. But also a lot of the hangers are empty so I have to like do deal with that stuff. But yeah, so basically right now we're just going to be organizing and putting things away. So roll that footage. having a quick little dinner break. This looks so bomb. It's a Caesar salad. I'm, I've been obsessed with Caesar salads and I had to do this. It's from like the pot pie. It's like a salad shop. I don't even know what it's called, but it's, it's so good. 